Hi friends, I am Daniela Rodriguez and I am here with my fiance. Carlos Correa. Yes, and we're gonna talk about our love story, how we met and all the good stuff that came along with it. We've repeated this story so many times and I know some of you guys have heard this story on the news through articles, but this is coming straight from us and our personal experiences throughout all of this. So if you ever see us on the street or you see us somewhere, don't ask us because we're telling you right now what happened. <laughs> Go ahead and ask me, I love talking about it. <laughs> Time out, can we take a minute and acknowledge and appreciate my pink eyeshadow? I love it. Pop it. <laughs> you know a lot of people send me that on Instagram. Not really. Your eyeshadow's be popping. No. It all started, technically, when I competed at Miss USA, yes. he saw me on TV and like every modern love story, there is social media involved. He sent me a really sweet message on Instagram, just congratulating me on what I had done and that I should be so proud of myself. Telling her that uh, Texas was proud that she did really good. Yes. Funny part is that I was actually not going to answer him. <laughs> Imagine how that would have gone. Um, I just did it, you know, you know, like athlete, like ah, I don't want to be involved with that. My mom, <laughs> my mom was the one that was like, just answer him. You know, it was a nice message. She's not being rude. She's just being nice. Gracias, suegra. <laughs> so I was like, sure, okay, why not? I was like, thank you, I appreciate it. And that was about it. We didn't talk anymore. Um, we didn't follow each other back or anything. A couple months later, I'm scheduled to throw the first pitch for the Houston Astros as my last event as Miss Texas USA. She sent she sent me a DM saying that she was gonna go throw the first okay, pitch. Okay, so he claimed, I don't remember this. Yes. I don't you remember did. this. You did. How would I know you were gonna throw the first pitch? I didn't know you knew I was gonna throw the I first knew. pitch. Of course I knew, because you let me know. I thought. You sent me a DM saying I'm going to be at Minute Maid Park next weekend. I'm going to throw the first pitch on, I don't know if it was Saturday. No, it was a Wednesday. Okay, Wednesday. Every every day for a baseball player is the same. That's actually true. You play true. every single yeah. day. So it was a Wednesday and, uh, you know, I was anticipating her to be there already. I don't remember doing I that. I actually... Look at me. I actually <laughs> thought about catching the first pitch, which I never do because I got to go to the line and stretch and get ready for the game. And I was like... It's gonna be too obvious. Like if I tell the Astros that uh, he wants my yeah, if I tell the Astros that I, I want to catch the first pitch on that particular game, there will be something fishy, you know. So I decided to just go and go stretch. And my teammate uh, Chris Davinsky yes. was the one that caught it. I remember technically he didn't catch it. Yeah, he didn't that catch was it. Like... It was so bad. And I remember when you know pitchers, and bullpen guys, they walk straight through the field to go to the bullpen at mid of May. I remember telling him, "Hey, Divo, don't even think about it. She's mine. Don't even talk to her. Don't even." I don't wouldn't even, even hurt he's his like, yet. He's like, he's like, "All right, bro. All right, bro. I got you. I got you." <laughs> and when I was in the dugout, that she was about to step in to throw uh, the first pitch, I told everybody, "Hey, don't even look at her. She's mine." <laughs> Funny. He's a very confident guy, obviously, because I was not his at all yet. Uh, yeah. So, yet. Um, and actually, funny story on my end was that I was... So, the Miss Texas USA office was actually going to order me a jersey that said, Miss Texas 2016, all that cute stuff. My jersey never came in. So, the day before, I was at Target looking for an Astro shirt. I did not know anything about baseball, like at all. I just knew his name, I knew he played for the team. And all the shirts that I'm looking for and the cutest one that I found, I'm like, oh, I like this one. And I turn it around and it says, Correa one. I was like, oh, I can't do this because if I do, it'll be weird and people are gonna think something when there's like nothing up. So I didn't and I bought like another plain shirt. It was also cute, but I just didn't buy it because I just didn't, I didn't want to stir up stuff. So the day comes and I am on the field and I'm really nervous. I remember being so nervous and it was fun when my friends was with me. Of course like, he's nervous, I mean. Not because of him, I was nervous <laughs> to throw the first pitch. It was so out of my comfort zone. And they're like, but you're in swimsuits in front of people. And I'm like, yeah, but this is, I'm, I, don't know, I don't know how to do this. Obviously, 
that went bad. Real bad. We don't mean to talk about that. Real okay. bad. <laughs> that did not go as good as I thought it was gonna go. But I remember just laughing it off and that was gonna be, like I said, my last event as Miss Texas. So I walked around the park, um, kind of like got to see the cool stuff, um, took pictures with people I saw my sash on. She took a picture with my picture. Oh yes, yes, yes! <laughs> I took a picture with that. with his picture, um, cause you know, just to have fun. Like that's, I was learning all like the fun stuff in the Astros park. So um, I took a picture with your picture, kind of like throwing the ball. And then I am just, you know, walking around and I, I sit down, I watch the game. Again, I don't know what really was going on cause I don't watch baseball. Um, but I was just sitting there. I had a lot of pressure. I was like, I gotta play good. She's gonna be here today. First inning, I make an error. Out of the <laughs> gate. Out of the gate, I'm like, oh boy. Come on, just focus on this. <laughs> Stay under control. See, ladies, we do have that much pressure on guys. <laughs> but yeah, I wouldn't have noticed it was an error anyway because I didn't know what was going on. I mean, now I would have been like, hey, get the ball, but not before. So uh, the game ended and uh, we won that game. I don't remember. Yeah, I think we won that game. And I go running, sprinting to my locker. And I go sprinting, I'm like, I gotta send her a message before she leaves the ballpark. Maybe ask her out to dinner or something. I cannot miss this chance, this opportunity. So I run up with my cleats, sitting super fast upstairs, getting my locker, grab my phone, send her a message saying what? Okay, first of all, he judged about my first pitch. Laughing uh, off, like, haha. Oh, that was brutal. That was a good first <laughs> pitch, whatever. And then, and then he hits me with it. I think I sent you something like, I think that's the best. Uh, first pitch I've ever seen. Yeah, sarcastically, obviously. But then he hits me with the, um, you're even more beautiful in person. Yeah. I'm like, oh, this dude. <laughs> never fails, guys. Excuse me. <laughs> <sighs> he sent me that, and I remember, I, so when, when you're in Texas USA, you can't, you know, be on your phone. You have to be, you know, enjoying the moment, and you're, it's your job. So, I saw my phone until I got back to the car and I get to the car and I like, you know, I'm on Instagram and I like check my messages and I see his little like picture and I'm like, oh my God, like he sent me a message. I was like, mom, the dude that I was playing sent me a message again. Like, what did he say? Like my friend was like, what did he say? What did he say? I open it up. Obviously that's what it said. Um, I answered back. I was like, ah, thanks. You know, went back and forth. He eventually asked me to have dinner. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and he asked me, so what's your favorite like restaurant? I love Mexican food, like top of my list. But, okay, I'm not gonna say Mexican food because then, I mean, what, I mean, let's be honest, I don't know of any like romantic Mexican restaurants <laughs> in Houston. And I wanted to have, a, you know, it was gonna be nice a dinner. Yeah, nice yeah. dinner. So I was like, Italian, which I do love Italian food. Um, but keep in mind, I did not want to be, I didn't know whether I should say yes or no, I didn't know what to do, and you know, everybody, my friends and my mom was like, we don't have anything to lose, like just go and meet the guy. So the entire time I was like, I'm not gonna be nervous, I don't care, like I'm gonna meet him, I might even hate him, so don't get excited, don't have any butterflies, that was going on on my end. On my end, I was just, let's just go grab dinner. No pressure at all, just, I mean, you were a little nervous. No. Oh, come on. I was, I was not even a little look, bit nervous. If I, I, if I made it. I always it. told her, and she doesn't believe me. I wasn't even a little bit nervous. Not even a little bit. So, I picked a restaurant. It was called North in Houston. And uh, I went to pick her up. She was wearing black jeans with a black blouse and some high heels. Looking super cute. And I'm like... <laughs> Oh wow, okay, here we go. <laughs> I was wearing my fedora hat. He was wearing a little fedora hat. Yes, okay. sir. So I was getting ready, I was like, I'm not gonna get excited. One of my friends came to my room and we were talking about it. She's like, oh my God, what are you gonna wear? And I was like, I'm gonna wear this. Like, I really don't, I don't wanna think about it too much. Cause I don't, I don't wanna like, you know, be in love and then I get there and it's like, Rah. So my butterfly started and I'm like, oh, go away. Like, I don't wanna be excited for this. He picks me up and I see him and he opens the door to my car and I'm like, oh my God, okay. So that's what I'm dealing with. Um, I loved you. Yeah. And I was just like, oh God, he's so cute. So we get in the car and we're driving and again, don't know anything about baseball. 
don't know who this guy is. I know he plays for the team, but I don't know anything about him. We show up instantly. People are like, oh my God, oh my God, can I take a picture with you? Oh my God, and I'm like, whoa. And I, she's like, what's going on? She was like super confused. I was like, super Why confused. Why do you take a picture with him? We walk into the restaurant and the host sees me and she recognizes me. And it's like, oh my God, oh my God, I cannot believe it. Is it really you? And then she starts crying. She's like crying. And I'm crying like, what the? And she's like, what? Why are you crying? What for? is going on? I was so confused. I was like, what is going on? Like, why is this chick crying? Yeah. Like, I pray her for this school, guy. <laughs> no, I, I was like, it. why is this chick crying for him? Like, I was so like real confused. Like I knew, like I said, I knew he played baseball, but like, okay, didn't whatever. Um, the dinner went amazing though. Really good, really good. So good. Instantly, we had chicken tortellini, uh, and the restaurant North. Shout out to North. They gave us free dessert. Free dessert. They let us try every single <laughs> dessert they had. Yeah. It was really good. It was a nice, super nice dinner. Like. Fluid conversation. Yeah, just, everything just flowed right. Yeah. Instantly, we like talking about our childhood and you know just being where we our came parents, from. right? Our parents and where we came from and him growing up and the way I grew up and it was just flowing so right. Hours went by. How I like spicy food and she doesn't. Oh whatever. <laughs> <laughs> whatever. Um, it just all flowed so so well. Really good. And by the end of it. Um, Oh, and just in case you guys want to know what I ordered, I ordered the same thing as he did. Yeah. He ordered first, and I was like, I'll get the same thing. I made sure to tell her when we got there, if you don't eat salads, don't order a salad yeah. just to look fancy. Just order whatever you're going to And what did I tell you? Like She's like, I'm not, I'm not fancy. I'm just going to order whatever I I'm not going to be like shy that. about that. Mm, yeah. We both know that I like to eat. Yeah. And then but after, by, by the end of the dinner, I didn't know what was going through her mind, so I didn't know if she wanted to keep hanging out or if she wanted me to take her back to the hotel with her parents. So I was like, hey, you want to go watch a movie or you want to yeah. go Which sleep? Which was she said, not <laughs> She was like, ah, it's a little late, so maybe just take me back to the hotel. My parents are waiting for me. So I was like, all right, cool, cool, cool. The next day we had a day off, but we were flying to Cleveland like at 2, 2 p.m. Yeah. We had a flight to Cleveland. And I never, this is 2016, I never woke up before noon. Unless it was spring training. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was like, I'll wake at 12, 12.30, and then be at the ballpark by 1.30 or, or 2. So I was like, wow, I, wanna, I really want to see her one more time before we go on the road. So guys, I invited her to breakfast. To breakfast. At dinner, he was like... 10 a.m.? 10 a.m. 10 a.m., guys. During you know how tough... That was for me. Waking up at, I'll say I woke up around 9, and then I snoozed, so 9, 10. Right. Um, I woke up early to just go get breakfast with this chick. That, this chick? That, Your future that, wife, that. this chick. So I woke up super early that morning. I went to pick her up, and she was wearing this nice little romper. Um, we went to snooze. I love yes, snooze. Okay, a funny story on my on yeah. my part was that yeah. that morning he okay so he asked me to have breakfast the, the during dinner. Um, I didn't want to appear too eager, so I was like, I mean, yeah, like if you want to. But inside, I was like, yes. So I'm like, okay, again, I'm that weekend. I was gonna turn in my title as Miss Texas USA. I came packed with pageant outfits, things that were way too much. Fancy. <laughs> things that would be way too much for breakfast obviously I, I tell him yes and the next morning I am rushing to Galleria um, as soon as the store is open to make it back before he's supposed to pick me up I remember being in one of the fitting rooms and he texts me good morning and I'm acting like I just woke up I'm like oh good morning I just woke up <laughs> but I was in the fitting room like trying on outfits I was like this has to be perfect because I don't want to look too much or like you know too little so I come back and I'm like full ready, like I just woke up with like my fake eyelashes going on and stuff. <laughs> Picks me up, we go have breakfast at Snooze and it was great. I ordered chocolate chip pancakes, which is so good. Really good. Really, really good. good pancakes. We had a good time, great conversation. On our way to breakfast, I remember him telling me, I you know, I'm always with my family and stuff, and you're the first person that I really feel like I actually like hanging out with, like out of the field. And obviously besides his family, like it's 
I think I really like hanging out with you. Okay, yeah. I was like, oh, thanks. <laughs> I took off to Cleveland and I remember that we FaceTimed all night. We the FaceTimed night. all, all night like night. all night, all weekend. There was, there was one trip where I think that one, we went to Cleveland and then Seattle. And then she was going to drive back that next weekend with her parents to see me again obviously because you know it was during the season so yeah. he couldn't go to laredo or anything to see yeah. me so, so i was like I'll, I'll go she was to driving houston. five hours to houston to, right. to see me and you know be able to hang out with me and everything and i remember there was one time in seattle that it was 7 a.m your time and we were still facetiming it's like the sun is coming out the sun was coming out i, I gotta I go had to class. school soon i gotta go to class soon and uh i think i gotta get an hour sleep at least <laughs> yeah. like all right i gotta sleep too uh, but I could wake up at 1 or 2 p.m. But she had class in like an hour. So I specifically remember facing my window and just watching the sun come out as I'm still FaceTiming with him. I'm like, wow, I really like this guy. <laughs> <laughs> From then on, obviously, we knew there was a lot of connection. We knew that we were in love with each other. And of course, this story goes on and on and on. If you guys want to watch that, comment below Stay that you tuned. really want to watch that video of our entire love story but that's basically how it all went down and i really hope that you guys enjoyed this video being able to see our side of the way we met a little more personal and if you guys liked it please give it a thumbs up comment below a lot of little hearts because love always wins <laughs> don't forget to subscribe to my channel turn on the bell notification for future videos bye